Dear McKenzie, getting to know you over the last couple years, it's been one of the most fun, one of the most challenging, one of the most exciting times of my life. I love your determination, how you set a goal, you make a plan, how you always see it through the end. I love how big your heart is. The biggest compliment I can give you is the love that you show Kerrigan. Reminds me of the love that my mom shows me growing up. I will never doubt your love or your loyalty to me or our future family. To put it simply, you have transformed my life in ways I could never even begin to describe. Saying you're my best friend will never fully explain what you mean to me. It means you're absolutely everything. Everything I didn't know I was dreaming of. Everything I was told to wait for. Everything I could possibly love. You're my every day, every moment, and every memory I want to spend my life with. I love the way you've completely swept me off my feet and have continued to pursue my heart. Kenzie and I have known each other for nearly 20 years as we met playing volleyball against each other when we were 12 years old. Fast forward and we both committed to play volleyball at Northwestern State. And I'll never forget showing up to our recruitment weekend in jean shorts and an NSU hoodie. And as soon as I saw Kenzie and Stacy run up in their bedazzled NSU sundresses, I had no idea if I was going to fit in. But I still remember Mackenzie came up to me and asked if she could give me a hug and the rest is history. Since then, we've experienced many milestone moments together. We've traveled, won championships together, become sorority sisters, watch each other start our careers, and most importantly, I watched Mackenzie become an amazing mother. Mackenzie and I have been friends for what feels like a lifetime. We have won a championship together, celebrated each other, cried together, and became mothers together, and so much more. I can honestly say that we have been through it all, and I'm so thankful for you, Ken. There comes a time in everyone's life when they meet their one true love, their soulmate, the person that is going to know and love them for the rest of their life. That moment came for Zach 24 years ago when he met me. The best part about having Zach as an older brother was that it was not just fun in fights, but the lessons and opportunities that Zach gave me. I truly believe that I would not be the man that I am today without Zach's guidance and him teaching me how to grow up. Through thick and thin, through good and bad, you are my big brother, and I always looked up to you and admire you. And Mackenzie, I couldn't be happier that you are now a part of our family. Zach and Mackenzie, may your marriage be filled with joy, may your trust grow stronger, and may your love increase as you grow as husband and wife. Look back on this moment often and allow your love and friendship to continue to grow. Enjoy the journey as you step into this next chapter of your love story. Cece, as you know, you are the most important person in your mom and Zach's life. The absolute most important. You mean the world to them. And they know that today is not just about them. It is not just about their love for each other. 
but also about their love for you. This love is like the church bells, as loud as they can be. In the good man's face on his wedding day, when he sees his bride to be. It's like a little girl holding daddy's hand For everyone to see yeah, This love is like no other It's taken over me promise to listen to you when you don't feel heard and see you when you don't feel seen. I promise to stand with you when the struggles of life weigh you down and celebrate with you when life brings us joy. I promise to always be your biggest encourager. I promise to always put our marriage first. I promise to always be your safe place. I promise to learn with you and grow with you even as time and life change us both. I promise to treasure you, support you, and love you for the rest of our lives. I vow to love you until the day that I die, to support you in everything you do, to be patient with you, to be there in the good times and the bad guide and support you through tough times and learning moments, to be loyal to you, to kiss you every morning and every night, to drive you anytime you want to be a passenger princess, to be honest, faithful, and loving for the rest of my days. Today I promise to you I will be the very best husband that I could possibly be. I knew you were a keeper for Ken's as soon as we met you. Watching the way you treasure, respect, and care for Mackenzie made it so easy to call you a friend. And I'm now happy to call you family. Zach, you came into Mackenzie's life at the exact right moment. God works in mysterious ways, but he knew exactly what he was doing when he put you in Mackenzie's life. Your journey together has been filled with laughter, adventure, unwavering love, and support for one another. I pray that your love will continue to grow deeper and all your days will be filled with laughter and joy and all the happiness in the world. My favorite part about Zach Murray McKenzie is that he gets to raise Cece. And Cece's great because she fulfills the responsibility of making sure that Zach has his hands full 24-7. And the moment I knew Cece was going to fit in with our family was when we went on vacation to the beach and my mom gifted her Chompy. She chased us around 24-7, day and night, all day long, biting at us. And I was just glad to know that Zach would never get to escape someone chasing him with a sharp object. <laughs> By the power vested in me, by the great state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Zach, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>